look at this. Look at that truck here. All our rugged eggs that took no drown you. Look at this pig mega truck. Look at this. Look at that. Jesus Christ, that big eh? My God. Wait, hey. You want to see how big that truck is? Look at the tire on that. Look at the tire on that. Teeth and all their rugged night on the bombers. Watch this. This this is a this is an engineering this is an engineering page, right? This engineering page, all right? Engineering for change. They're talking about it. Watch this. Watch this. You see? Watch this. An ocean without sand. The construction industry may be driving a sand crisis, and they're talking about it. See? Watch this. Let me make it bigger for you. All. See? They're talking about it. You see, this is what's really happening. When we think about, it's blurry. When we think about sand, most of us have a picture of seemingly endless white uh, beaches and sand boxes or hourglasses. The truth is the sand, the truth is sand is everywhere. In glass, in cosmetics, in electronics, the, the beach is not the only place uh, we walk on sand. Our roads, our sidewalks, even the fountains of our, the sorry, the foundations of our homes, are also contain a great amount of sand. The construction industry is the largest sand consumer. Generally speaking, two thirds of a building is concrete, two thirds of which is sand. Now listen to me. For an average family house therefore 200 tons of sand is needed for 200 tons of sand is needed for one house remember that number 200 tons huh you see that for an average highway for an average highway all right for one mile of highway over 45,000 tons of sand is required the demand for sand has increased by 360% in the last 30 years and it continues to do so. The demand has become so high that the black market is booming and the sand mafia is mining sand at all costs. Man Bahamas, they could tell you all that I sell in dreams all they want. They could tell you all that, that there's nothing to it. But I could tell you one thing. Mafia don't uh, go after nothing that don't make money, that isn't making big money. Mafia don't go after nothing that ain't making big money. They're trying to tell you all that we can't make this and we can't make that. Let me, let me play with some numbers for you all a minute. What I want you all to see is Biden. I sure y'all have heard about it by now. If y'all watching the news, y'all will see this man, right? This is the President of the United States. The President of the United States says that he is doing a $2 trillion infrastructure project. Biden wants to spend $2 trillion on infrastructure and jobs, all right? $2 trillion on infrastructure. Now, if he is spending $2 trillion on infrastructure, do you know what they need? Sand. Two-thirds of concrete is sand. Do you know what else? Is, sorry. Do you know what else is in concrete? Water. Do you know what else is in concrete? Limestone. That's lime. That's what, that's what they get from us. So the majority of what they need to make cement, concrete, all this stuff, we have the material. Huh? We have it. We have what it takes. Now watch this. We have gone through his budget line by line. Not just here. We went through the, through the actual budget. Line by line, right? So when we started to go through this, we started to see how much is going to be spent on these stuff. So, so this trains, planes, automobiles, so road, transportation, whatever, 
they're going to spend 621 billion this is homes and etc what they're going to build they have some solar panels there you know they need to make solar panels sand do they need to build a house sand you know they need to make steel sand you know what they need for glass for the windows sand you know what they need for plastic sand you know what they need for rubber sand sand is the number one use natural resource in the world all right and so here yeah, 650 billion there all right and so they're gonna do some some other stuff now let's go to these numbers again all right transportation infrastructure 621 billion dollars all right a plan would make a massive investment in America's roadways railways and bridges with a focus on clean energy all right clean energy you know what you need sand for solar etc you know what you need for railway for the steel that they put down for the railway they need sand to make steel all right for this big project, for them to get oil, they need sand to, to extract oil. Sand is used for everything. And the world is running out of it because of that. How much of this do you think is going to be for what they need, the sand and the limestone that we have? Let me tell you something. The only thing I need is for Minister hurry up, ring this bell so we could go after a big portion of this budget. If they are making roads, they need sand for the asphalt, for everything else, for the concrete, for the highways. Minutes resign, please. We know exactly where the money is coming from. Exactly where it's coming from. The budget is already there. We are right across the water from America. I will sit with Biden myself and tell Biden, listen, we have everything you need. Everything you need. All we need you to do is take some, take some pre-orders. Let us know how much you're going to get. And so we can allow your companies to come in and your companies can 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 do whatever it needs. Alright? And so 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 all of these stuff that they're gonna do, alright? Um I'm I'm track backlog, they're gonna do electric video all kind of stuff here, man. Infrastructure resiliency, they're gonna build homes. Hey, I'll watch this map now. So quality of life, they're gonna spell $650 billion on, on homes for people. All right, so while Minister trying to sell you all property without the house, they're gonna spend $650 billion on homes, all right? A part of the plan is to focus on, they're gonna build homes, school buildings, underground water infrastructure, they need concrete for that, and broadband uh, expansion, all right? So the plan would spend 213 billion billion dollars to build preserve and retrofit two million affordable homes two million affordable homes all right five hundred uh, thousand of them are going to be uh, low 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 cost homes all right now let's play with some numbers I want y'all to see the numbers yourselves because people are telling y'all that Lincoln is selling y'all dreams. And all I do is quote numbers and I give facts every time. Watch this. How much homes? Two million homes, right? So let's put that in. Two million homes, all right? What are we times in that by? Each of these homes need two, how much? 200 tons a ton is 2,000 pounds all right they need 200 tons of sand so 200 tons two sorry I did it wrong uh, uh, two million times 200 tons equal Wow they need 400 million tons in order to build of sand to do what they want to do that's just for this piece of the project they seen the whole project they seen the roads and all that yet they need 400 million tons you see this even if we only get a hundred dollars a ton let's play with numbers now I want you to play with the numbers do we have the solid numbers no but let's play with numbers. Let's say we give America a discount because they're buying so much. Let's say we say 100. All right? 
Did I put times? No, sorry, I didn't put times. 400 million. 400 million times what? Time. Let's say we get $100 a ton. All right? Equals. That's $40 billion right there. That's just one part of this big project. Just on the houses. This in the schools. This in the roads. This in the nothing else. We get forty billion. If we only get a hundred dollars a ton, we get forty billion dollars. Doesn't that sound like every Bahamian gets hundred thousand dollars? Y'all, y'all seeing it? Are y'all seeing the numbers? Y'all go talk to your family and talk to your friends. Tell them don't let brave them swing y'all. Talk about be selling dreams. We just playing with numbers. We believe we could get more than that for our son. All right, we believe that we could get more than that. Even if we only get, let's play the number again. Let's say 400 million. This just for the houses now. 400 million tons they need just for the houses. Let's say we only get $20. Let's say we only get $20 a ton. 20, right? Minus $8 billion. That's $8 billion. Come on, Bahamas. That's one part of their project. Huh? You see, now you all know what's happened now. Everyone else from all other parties, they take everything they hear me saying and they start presenting it as, as their idea and their plan. Of course, we know that's what's going to happen. But you see these numbers for yourself. All right? And so this is the kind of, of numbers that we're dealing with. This is the kind of of uh, possibilities out there guess what that is one country china has major infrastructure works going on around it right now it's called the belt and road initiative they are spending trillions and trillions they're spending even more than 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 biden wants to spend it's called the belt and road initiative it's connecting china to all of the countries around it they have uh, infrastructure going to, uh, to Africa, to Europe, to India, everywhere. They need limestone. They need sand. They have the ships, the equipment and everything to suck this sand up and carry it. Someone is telling you that I am selling you a dream. But they won't tell you what this dream is. They won't tell you why they say that this can't, this thing can't work. Why? Because they're lying. They know that it's true. None of their leaders will question it. Because they know they would be discredited if they do so. None of them will discredit it. Alright? And so they are building highways and bridges. For every single mile of highway, they need 45 thousand forty five thousand tons of sand for every mile of highway 